Rafia Shafi came to Canada in 2016. She volunteered at the Textile Museum of Canada, where she met fellow artists. But before she'd gotten established, she had to rush back to Pakistan to be with her father, who'd been diagnosed with cancer. And I would discuss uh, a lot of opportunities with my father, like what what can I do in Canada? Or Because he was very keen in terms of... Uh, me as an artist, how I was in my university and graduated with a thesis in Pulkari. Uh, so he was a very hands-on father. Um, and uh, he gave me, a, gave me the idea that why don't you teach? A year after he passed, back in Canada, she began building Daga Art, the business she dreamed of with her father. Then I reached out to a friend and I went to her house and taught the, that was my first ever workshop, a mother-daughter workshop at a friend's house. And then the response I received was very exceptional. Since then, she's been teaching across the GTHA at universities, textile studios, museums, and galleries. Pulkari translates to doing flower work, and it's a traditional art form from Pakistan and India. Pulgari is basically done on the backside of the fabric by counting the threads, so it's a very uh, studious, you create intricate geometric designs. Rafia feels like she's accomplishing her mission, helping to revive a dying craft with the next generation. During one of my workshops, somebody actually approached to me and he he told me that my grandmother used to wear a lot of pulgaris, and I cannot believe I just learned the same craft, the same embroidery technique. So that's when I know my, my job is done and the reason why I'm reviving it, reviving this language, holds a lot of significance within other people's heritage also. And she is of course creating still as well. Online interest has brought her a whole new subject. That's when uh, I shifted from traditional Pulgari motifs to more custom pieces, like for example, uh, making Mother's Day hoops, making Ramadan hoops, making uh, theme-based hoops, I would, I would say. And one of the clients sent me a photo that, can you embroider this uh, photo? And uh, I was like, yeah, why not? So that's, that was my first order as a, a wedding portrait. So I drew that, embroidered that, and the response was phenomenal. <laughs> Earlier this year, the town of Oakville asked her to create Pulkari hoops to be used as this year's Oakville Spirit Awards. Standing up on the stage and all the winners coming one by one and I'm handing out the awards, and I could see the spark and the smiles they had in terms of, uh, so I mean, they started asking me questions. Oh, how can I keep it safe? How can I hang it? Uh, did you make all of it? Uh, can you can you tell me a little bit about it? Standing at the stage, I was just thinking how, I mean, you know, how my father would have felt in terms of uh, like, wow, she made it, she made it there. <laughs> You can find Rafia's next workshop and her art on Instagram at Daga Art. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.